Hi, Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Today, we are going to talk about mitochondrial dysfunction and how the mitochondrial food plan, i.e. a healthy ketogenic diet, can be a very powerful option for you. So you may have heard in third grade that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and that couldn't be more true. Essentially, it is providing us with 90% of our energy, and it is affecting everything in our body. Ultimately, it is driving how our cells are getting the energy they need to thrive. And so when we have mitochondrial dysfunction, things that could be associated with this are things like headaches and migraines, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, neurodegenerative disease, even things like cancer and even digestive issues. All of this can be associated with some kind of mitochondrial dysfunction. Although there are a lot of ways to improve your mitochondria, especially through the form of exercise, today's focus, we're going to focus on the food aspect and the nutrition aspect. So the mitochondria food plan, as I mentioned, is essentially a healthy ketogenic diet. So it is based on the biochemistry of ketosis. Ketosis is a generation and accumulation of ketones from breakdown of fat when we have carbohydrates that are absent. And that typically is referring to under 50 grams of carbohydrates a day or lower. So essentially, by reducing the carbohydrate intake, we are going to improve our mitochondrial efficiency and how we're using different fuel sources. We can achieve ketosis in as little as three days. So ketosis can be actually beneficial for not only the things that I mentioned, such as chronic pain, headaches, migraines, and so on. It can also be helpful as it relates to weight loss. So as it relates to the breakdown of our carbohydrates, fats, and protein, with this particular diet, we are having a higher percentage of fats, a low percentage of protein, and a very low amount of carbohydrates, anywhere from under 20 to 50 grams of carbohydrates per day. Breaking down the fats a little bit further, we want to think about having saturated fats and unsaturated fats. So our saturated fats, we could think of our meats and potentially dairy foods, our unsaturated fats, we can think about our olive oil and avocado and walnuts and so on. What we want to really eliminate is our trans fats. Those are things like our vegetable oils, our margarines and so on. And lastly, measuring your ketones in your blood will be one of the most important aspects of a true ketogenic diet. So there are several ways to test your ketones. There is urine, there is breath, and there is blood. The most accurate way to test is your blood. So you do want to recognize that within three days of a true ketogenic diet, you should be in ketosis. However, there are a lot of factors of why that might not happen. A lot of times you could be consuming too much protein, which is actually on the normal end of thing outside of a mitochondrial plan. Most people aren't consuming enough, but on a mitochondrial plan, a lot of times that can be a factor. And we have a process called gluconeogenesis where that can turn to carbohydrate as a fuel source. So too much protein and of course too many carbohydrates can also be something that could affect it. So in summary, my goal today was just to give you a small taste of what a mitochondrial plan is and how it can affect you if you are experiencing some kind of mitochondrial dysfunction. This can be such a powerful tool in your toolbox. And when I'm typically prescribing this for someone, I might suggest doing it for 30 days to to really determine how they're feeling, try to get them in a true ketotic state and determine if this can really influence them in a positive way from an energy standpoint and of course, from a symptomatic standpoint. There's lots of great research on ketogenic diet, especially as it relates to epilepsy and other neurodegenerative diseases. So please feel free to check those out and uh, dive a little bit deeper into the mitochondrial plan. And if this was helpful, give it a like, give it a share, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm for weekly tips on mindset nutrition and movement. Of course, if you need help on your journey, we would love to hear from you. So please reach out, send us a message, set up a discovery session, and we will help you on your journey.